Hey guys, what's going on? Today's gonna be a little bit different. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got the cowl off the top of the motor. Um, we are going to, uh, I wanna show you a little bit of an issue that I had last year with my uh, 225 uh, Optimax here and what I did to take care of it. Uh, I'm only doing this because I've only seen very limited uh, information out there and I just wanted to give a little bit of insight. To give you a little bit of a backstory, I was out on a lake last year practicing for a tournament. Uh, I was by myself. I was on a chain of lakes, so I dumped the boat in one area and I traveled to a completely different area. So I, I was nowhere near the ramp, I was nowhere near my truck or anything. I got on the pad and I started hearing some beeping. You know, you get the, those loud beeps from um, that Mercury makes, you know, like the first one, when you start up your motor, every boat makes one. And um, I was getting four of them. I was getting four beeps. And it seemed like it was every so often, it was, but it was the exact same four beats, the exact same amount of time between. And it turned out to be um, two minutes in between. So what that is, is that's the oil level getting low. First thing I did is I checked my little reservoir. I don't have it open, but I've got it in the back here. It's a big tank, and that's the main one. Now, that one was pumped full, so I would had no idea what was going on. Well, I kept getting those same four beeps. Looked at the manual, it's the oil level low. And so, took it off the water, and I started looking at it, and what I found is on this reservoir here, there's a float. Now there's also a sensor up on top here. And they said that sensor can go out. If that goes out, that's not gonna read properly, of course, right? So there's also a float in here. Well, I bought, you can't buy the float by itself. You can't service the float, you can't buy it by itself. You gotta buy the whole tank. I did, however, buy the sensor, just in case. So I got the tank and the sensor. What I did first was I tried the sensor. I took the sensor out and I put the other one on to see if that worked. Still the same problem, okay? Not the sensor. So I saved the sensor since I already put it on there. Back up, put it in the, you know, just in case. Put the new tank on, no issues. So that solved my problem. Um, I believe the tank is about 120 bucks for this one. And I don't know, it's, I guess it's a common problem. And I, I didn't see a whole lot of information on it. I did see a video on YouTube about it, but it was, it was a lot of text and a lot of um, music. And it just, you know, it, it was a good video. It showed you what to do. And in replacing this one, what I did, you know, it's not too bad. So you gotta take obviously your top off and you gotta take this off so you can get to this guy here and you know, the bolts here. Um, this one, it's not too bad. You know, I can't remember where all the bolts are, but there's, 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 a hand, there's only a handful of bolts to get this down and you won't get this completely off. I think it just comes out just a little bit so you can flex it to get to this. Um, and you just pop these three out and you know, you got a little zip tie here, you know, you just gotta, it's pretty simple. And pop it back on, pop your, top your motor back on, and you're good to go. So, just wanna give you guys a little bit of uh, um, information on that, and maybe you found it elsewhere, maybe you find better information somewhere else, or, you know, but that's fine too, I just, you know, I want to give you a little bit of insight of what I ran into, what helped me, and how I fixed my issue. But uh, yeah, it's um, it was worrisome when I was out on the water and it get these beeps, and I don't know what was going on, and I could barely even um, I couldn't even get on pad. I could barely even go idle. I felt like that the thing was going to blow up, so I used my towing motor to get into um, a ramp that was nearby, and I had to actually go get a ride to get my truck. And I mean, I, I use my towing motor to go about um, 
a, a mile, I think, in order to get to that ramp, which thankfully I had enough battery power to do that, but I'll get to that in another video of what I power my trolling motor batteries with, or trolling motor with, battery-wise. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I want to uh, show you guys today. It's a little bit different. I'm supposed to go all fishing, but it's storming. So, um, this is what you get for right now. And, uh, you know, if you do, uh, you see anything on here where I might have gotten wrong or something I should have done differently, throw it down in the comments and uh, let me know and, you know, I'll respond. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.